Have you guys ever seen those mainstream music videos where they have the artist performing? Then that performance shot gradually transitions into a slow motion shot and then it speed ramps on into the next clip. This is done by filming your shot at a frame rate other than 24 frames per second. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a few tips. I'm gonna show you how, give you the pros and cons of filming your entire video at a frame rate other than 24 frames per second, as crazy as it sounds. Let's get straight into it. So two weeks ago, I filmed a music video for my homie SO, and I decided to film this entire music video at 72 frames per second. Now it's a few different reasons why I wanted to do this. The first main reason being that I knew for a fact that throughout some of these performances within the edit, I was gonna want them to gradually transition into slow motion shots and it was just gonna help the edit flow a little bit better. Another reason why I wanted to do this is I knew that if I filmed all of the shots in slow motion, it was gonna give me an opportunity to use some of the performance shots and gestures as B-roll slow motion throughout the edit. So filming your entire video at a frame rate other than 24 frames per second can be a crucial help to some of you guys in the editing process. So what you guys can see, filming your entire video at 72 frames per second definitely has its pros, but it has its cons as well. One of the biggest cons being you might potentially lose a little bit of quality from the entire video that you're filming. Depending on what camera you're on, if you're on like a really expensive cinema camera, you're probably not gonna have this problem at all. But with a lot of mirrorless and DSLR cameras on the market, they only go up in slow motion to a certain resolution. For instance, I filmed my music videos on a GH5. Now the GH5 can do 4K at 60 frames per second, but me personally, I was looking for a little bit slower of a shot. So I decided to go down in resolution to 1080p just so I could make sure that I had this effect that I was going for within the editing. So by doing this, I had to sacrifice potential 4K quality down to 1080 just so I can get the look that I was going for within the camera. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about doing this, you might potentially lose a little bit of quality from the edit. I think it's worth it though. It really all depends on the look that you're pushing at the end of the day. Another kind of filming your entire video at 72 frames per second or another frame rate like 120, whatever you choose, is you could potentially lose the audio within the clip as well. Now I use Lumix. When I film slow motion within my camera, it completely conforms the shot within the camera but it also takes away all of the audio from the shot. So if you know for a fact you need audio for the shot, this method is not gonna be possible with that potential clip that you need audio for. Now this isn't necessarily the same for Sony or Canon, but with Lumix, you could potentially lose the sound within the clip, which could also make the syncing process up in post a little bit harder. But if you use markers and just play it by eye, it's a really easy process to get over. Before I show you guys how to do this, I think it's important to note that you always wanna have your baseline frame rate for your project be 24 frames per second. When I say baseline, I'm talking about the frame rate that you want to export your video at. It doesn't matter what frame rate you film your video at, you always want to export at 24 frames per second. This is going to keep the cinema look within the video edit. Now there's two different ways that you're going to achieve this effect depending on what camera system you're on. For us Lumix users, the slow motion that we're going to create, our camera is going to already conform the footage into slow motion within the camera. So when we go to the editing process, it's going to be a little bit different as opposed to like a Sony editor or a Canon editor, which I'll touch on in a second. So for our Lumix editors, when we get over into the editing process, we're just gonna drop our clip within the timeline, zoom in and pay attention to the artist's lips as he's rapping the performance, and try to catch on to a word that you know for a fact that he says within the song. Go to the beginning of the word that you know that he's saying and just drop a little marker right there. Now play through the song within the timeline, find that exact same word that you just used the marker for within the video edit and put a marker there as well. When we line up these markers, this is gonna put our clip on beat with the song. After we have the clip on beat, we're just gonna go into the speed controls for the clip and we're gonna speed it up depending on what frame rate we're filming at. If we're doing 120 frames per second, we're gonna wanna speed the clip up to 400%. If we're filming at 72 frames per second, we're gonna wanna speed the clip up to 300%. And if we did 60 frames per second, we're gonna wanna speed the clip up to 250%. Just do the simple math to figure out what speed you need to speed the clip up to to match it with the speed of the actual song. Once we do that, the clip is gonna be on beat with the song and it's gonna be playing in real time. Now all we have to do is signify what part of the song we want to gradually transition into slow motion. You could just simply cut the clip at the part that you know you want to transition into slow motion, click on it and change the speed of that clip down to 100. And as we play that back, you guys can see it instantly go straight into the slow motion. Or we could get fancy with it and go through and do our speed ramping options as well, just to make that transition a little bit smoother and not so sudden. Now for the Sony and Canon users, when you guys film slow motion, you still have the audio available to you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop this clip into the timeline and line it up on beat with the song, just as we would do with any old regular 24 frames per second shot. Now all you guys have to do is go through the clip find the portion of the video that you want to transition into slow motion, cut it there. If it's 120 frames per second, you guys are gonna wanna drop the speed down to 25%. And if you film that 60 frames per second, you guys are gonna wanna drop the speed down to 40%. So there it is. If you guys want a little bit more flexibility within the editing for your music videos, 
film your entire video at a frame rate other than 24 frames per second, line it up, chop it down, figure out the portions that you want to gradually transition into slow motion, use some speed ramps, speed it out, just get creative with the speed of the clips and it'll make your edit flow a lot better, 100%. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, man, make sure to drop this a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out, guys.